Hello once again, I am Jim Ducar with TND How Videos. Today we will be watching a highway crossing in Texas. Our participating utility is Pedernales Electric Cooperative and this video is being sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now as we set the scene here you'll see several bucket trucks lined up on the median of State Highway 281 just north of San Antonio. And we will be watching crews string three phases plus a neutral across this highway. Now the work actually starts on this side of the highway, on this distribution pole, where we see crew members installing what are called guts or line sleeves, line blankets. They're the orange coverings here. Now it should be noted that the lines across the highway are de-energized and grounded but they're protecting the other lines from incidental contact. The other thing you're going to notice as we go up on this pole is that there is a new cross arm about 15 feet above this current cross arm. And meanwhile, back on the ground, what we're seeing here is called a four drum puller and bull wheel tensioner that shows four different colored ropes that are going to be fed across the highway and then these ropes will be attached to cable or wire to pull back across using this tensioner. And now we're actually up on the pole. You see that higher cross arm as the lineman is installing a few more guts. It should be noted that this video is being shot with a GoPro camera on the lineman's hard hat. So you may see GoPro cameras in some of these shots. What he's doing here is attaching a couple of dollies so they can pull the first two ropes up. And now you're going to see another lineman come up with the We're first two, captain. the red and We're green ropes. And then there they are tying them off to a dead end. Now they can come back to the other side and put each of those ropes, the green and red, into a respective dolly. And once they have that done, they can disconnect them from the boom and connect it to our lineman's boom over here. And what I wanted to show here is we're actually going to connect both the red and green to one boom. So they're both in dollies, meaning they can be pulled across the highway at the same time. And what is happening here is we're actually moving further away from that cross arm and pole. I'm going to bring it down right here, right? And in fact, as the lineman just announced, he's going to bring the ropes down to ground so that ground crew can walk them across the service road portion of the highway. And in fact, from his vantage point, you can now see those ground crews approaching the service road of the highway. So let's change our vantage point here. And now you see the crew members on the ground actually handing those two ropes, red and green, up to our first bucket. He is going to raise them up and then turn his bucket left via the orientation of the screen. And here he hands off the two ropes from his boom to the boom on the next bucket to his left. He pulls back away. Now this bucket's gonna go ahead and continue pulling the rope across the highway say it, this really deserves uh, the accompaniment of fine orchestral music, the intricate choreography, but instead we get traffic sounds underneath. And as these ropes reach the penultimate bucket in this line, we will now see that they actually go back to ground to attach a lead that feeds into the wire or cable spooler on this end of the line. It's the lineman up in the bucket signaling with hand signals. They use hand signals and radios as they're moving these ropes across. And here we are on the ground on the receiving end of the rope pull portion of this project. You can see the cable spooler I was talking about in the lower right corner, the orange trailer. That's actually a better shot of it as they are manually pulling this rope down so that they can connect it to the spooler. And it'll be used to reverse the order and bring wire back across the highway. And speaking of the other side of the highway, here we are where it all began. The origination of the rope pull. You're watching as a 
tighten up or tension up the green and then subsequently the red ropes here. Now you'll also see as we look at some of these closing shots that there's a little bit of rain starting to fall which means that day two of the highway crossing will take place tomorrow. So thank you for watching the first part of Highway Crossing by TND Howe Videos. Our participating utility was Pedernales Electric Cooperative. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonnell. I am Jim Ducart with TND Howe Videos. Thank you as always for watching.